leaders are trying to put mental health at the forefront in a community where it usually is not. This comes after two tragic incidents. Hmong mental health professionals are holding a workshop for the community. Fox 9's Mary McGuire joins us live to explain how they're tackling suicide prevention head on. Mary? And those two widely publicized murder suicides this summer really rocked the Hmong community. And now leaders are taking some serious steps when it comes to addressing mental health. There's no word or phrase for mental health in the Hmong language. It's remained a taboo topic for generations. Instead of offering practical uh, values or steps or procedures or ways to step out of the problem. They tend to shun the person aside saying, you're not important, your problem is not important. But after two high profile murder suicides shook the community, the Hmong 18 Council knew they needed to address the crisis immediately. We need to do something about this. Uh, we cannot wait anymore. After a Hmong mother killed her six children in 1998, the council was started with the goal of preserving culture, strengthening community, and fighting domestic violence. Recently, they've seen history repeating itself. In July, authorities say 23-year-old Molly Cheng drowned her three children in Badness Lake before taking her own life in the hours after her husband shot and killed himself. A month later, St. Paul police say Ya Zhang shot his wife before killing himself, leaving their five children without parents. Let's start with a conversation. Let's have a conversation. It's a small, small first step. Now they're tackling the topic head on with among outreach events specifically addressing suicide and mental health. Among psychiatrists and psychologists will lead the discussion. These issues are real. They are out there. We need to pay better attention to these issues. The council acknowledges more work needs to be done in the future, but says this is the first step in breaking taboos for future generations. Now, the event is scheduled for Saturday, September 24th. We do have more information and details up on our website. Reporting live tonight, Mary McGuire, Fox 9. Mary, thank you. If you or someone you know is struggling, there is help. 24 seven. Just dial 988 for the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline.